Hi, this is Kristen, and today I'm here with the Rhino Shield Screen Protector by Evolutive Labs. It provides impact protection, as you can tell from the packaging here. It claims to be easy to clean, anti-fingerprint, scratch resistant, impact dispersion, impact damping, high strength, and zero residue adhesive. These are the different layers, and they all have different properties. It is supposed to absorb five times more impact energy than normal screen protectors and is as thin as three sheets of printer paper. Sounds pretty good. Let's open it up. Pull. Okay, here we go. Kind of cute packaging. Looks like, well, what else do we have? Nope, we have more stuff. Okay. And even more stuff. Oh, looks like we have a front and a back screen protector, which is awesome because I actually don't currently have a back screen protector on my phone. How excellent is that? Okay, so uh, let's check these guys out. We have dust removal stickers, which are of course super wonderful. We have a microfiber cloth. And I don't know what else we have. Let's open it, open it up and check it out. Okay, all right, well here's our microfiber cloth. Oh, this must just be for moving bubbles. Um, and two dust removal stickers, gotta love those. So, how to apply with clean hands. Wipe screen with microfiber cloth. Peel off dust removal stickers. Lightly dab screen surfaces with it to remove any residual dust. On the Rhino Shield screen protector, peel the protective layer off adhesive side marked back. Carefully align edges and cutouts of Rhino Shield to the screen. Apply pressure at one end of the screen and then gently sweep across the face of the screen using squeegee to remove any air bubbles. Peel off the protective layer marked front and you are done. Well, I like that. So this all looks excellent. Let's try it on the phone. Okay, so as I mentioned, we have actually two screen protectors in this pack. One of them is the Rhino Shield front screen protector, which is made of all the advanced materials and is super wonderful. That's what this one is here. There's also a back screen protector, which I think is not made of the same materials, but will provide scratch protection for the back of your phone. So we're going to do the front screen protector first. First, I need to remove the screen protector that I currently have on here, which is one that is specific for a waterproof case and is not a standard screen protector. Okay, we're looking in pretty good shape here. So here's the screen protector. The back is the adhesive side, so back will be what I'm going to remove first. Making sure I've got everything correct here in terms of up and down. Don't want to put it on upside down. This looks like it should, okay. Trying to get a sense of how it's supposed to fit around. It's going to fit pretty tightly around the home button. Okay, I think I have it on, so time to take off the front bit protecting it and we'll see whether I really did as good a job as I thought I did. Wow, 
Wow, I gotta say guys, um, I am really quite impressed by this screen protector and by the job that I did in installing it. Um, it's looking great. So I'm gonna put on the back one now. Okay, things are looking pretty good here. I'm gonna wipe at it a little bit with this anti-static thingy. Okay, well I've gotten the majority of the bubbles out. Okay, well I have to say I'm really impressed by this screen protector. Um, the install was actually quite easy, although lining it up is tricky. Um, it fits very tightly around the home button, as you can see there. Um, it provides uh, protection to, well, pretty much the maximum of the, the area up to the curved edges of the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, the back screen protector also goes on nicely, although it uh, doesn't want to adhere all that well to the antenna lines um, and also the Apple. I guess that's just because the material must be a little bit different. Um, but it does provide quite good coverage. Both of them are very, very thin. Um, the material feels very nice. There is uh, no change in sensitivity, certainly. The clarity is quite perfect. Um, I don't know that it feels quite as smooth as a glass screen protector. I'm, I'm feeling like there is. it's not quite the slippery smoothness that I associate with a glass screen protector, but the thinness and the clarity are very, very impressive. In fact, it wants me, it makes me want to put on my crash guard, by, which is also by Rhino Shield. So here we have the Rhino Shield crash guard with the Rhino Shield screen protector. And when it is put together with that, you can see there is just a tiny little bit of an area that is not covered, um, but it's really pretty minuscule. Overall, our area of coverage is quite good, um, and it um, provides a really attractive solution. So again, this is the Rhino Shield screen protector. Thanks so much for watching. This is Kristen.